Hey everyone, this is Rocket here, and I'm gonna do another redstone tutorial on like a timer thing that you, you use to like keep a door open or whatever. So when you press this button over here, you um you just wait a couple seconds. I don't have it on a long timer, but that's just just because of a demonstration, and then it closes the door. Here I'll show you guys with the door open, and it just changes, and it um then a couple seconds later it closes. But it is infinitely expandable. It's not just that. It's just I only put like the number of items you put in here decides of how long it's gonna be. So yeah, let's go right into the tutorial. So these are the items that you're gonna need: a um bun, redstone repeater, redstone torch, sticky piston, hopper, redstone comparator, redstone, redstone block, blue wool, and a door or whatever you're hooking it up to. Um, it just depends. Like I use it for a gravel door or whatever in adventure maps I make, but that's just me. Okay, so we're just gonna go straight into it. So what what you're gonna do is put um put a block down and put a button on it, and that's where your button's going to be. Put a redstone repeater coming out of that block. Uh, piston in the ground facing up with a block on top of it. A repeater coming out of that and then a piston facing into that repeater and do not hit that repeater with a redstone block on it okay after you have that like do, um skip this face and put um put a hopper crouch put a hopper into that delete this hopper and then crouch and put a hopper into that so you should see two hoppers should be inside of each other and then you put a comparator out of each side of the hopper for each hopper Put a block in, um, with the comparator and put redstone on top of that block. Alright, so once you have that done, you're gonna put sticky pistons right facing sideways, like that. And then you're gonna on each side, and then you're gonna put a redstone block above that. Okay, so you should be able to see it so far right now. Okay. So what we're going to do after that is start hooking everything up. Oh, and some people do this much more compact, but I make it so you can click the button almost immediately after. I'm going to delete that one. So what you want to do is go two blocks out and then start put and then place blocks, two blocks right, like so you see it's four right here. And then you place three repeaters right here, with a, going into a block with a torch on top of it. Um, then what you're gonna do is skip one, like, skip one block, and then put two right there, put a torch above that one, with a piece of redstone, and then torch, um, right next to that piece of redstone. And then just put redstone all throughout here, and on this block right there. Okay, so once you have that done, I'm just gonna get more blue wool. And then this, this tells you how long your timer's gonna be. And I'm not sure exactly how many like items is per second or whatever, or I should I say like milliseconds, but you guys can just figure that out with a timer if you want. And then right now we're gonna hook this up to our door. Oh yeah, and then you'll see it'll go. Oh, and then I just realized I'm gonna have to do one more thing. Place a torch right there, and then place redstone all the way to um this this block right here that has a piston under it. And then you place a repeater going out of there, so it shuts it off. Or, yeah, it shuts off after that. Done. You'll see it'll do that in a little while. Oh, four not. Um, you'll see it in a little while after we do that. And then right now, what like what you do is wire it up to what you're gonna put it at. And then I'm gonna make a door. Oh, and then make sure you invert the signal if you're gonna do like a door or whatever like if you want it to stay closed uh, why does it keep on going uh, I don't know um well, let me check why it's going ah uh, what okay uh, I just realized that we have to instead of putting it on that one we're supposed to put it on this one supposed to be opposite. So, sorry about that, it's just it's kind of a difficult design. 
And then you can wire up your button somewhere else. You just have to put redstone in that block or redstone like right here and going into where your button's going to be. So once you have that, you can just press your button. You can see how long your timer is and just play around with the timings. So yeah. Hope you guys liked the video. And please like and sub if you want to see more redstone tutorials and some other stuff that we're going to do. Or I'm going to do in the future. So yeah, hope you guys liked the video, and see you guys next time.